list. As Brian Lima heads that one as well with 29 tries. Made his debut against Fiji way back in 2002. They love him in Europe. Plays for Leicester. Rugby World Cup survivor from 2007. Paul Williams and Tuolangi just having a little bit of a chat about maybe their running lines. Fullback and left winger. An opportunity now for Tusi Pizzi to add the extras. So they've had plenty of field position, the Wallabies, but they haven't been able to make the most of it. And they're now staring at a 10 0 deficit. If you can just raise the flags here. Samoa will play free match in a two horse race. 13th minute, Manu Samoa 10, Australia 0. 12 and a half minutes gone. So Gitto with the restart. Down to onto the lead. And off loads to forward coming round. And now penalty. Off your feet. Off your feet. Run away. Matthias Sina Tuafu, the blindside flank of place for counties Manuka in New Zealand. Got a couple of caps with the Chiefs in 2011. So, PC. Stop time wasting. Please play. We'll look for touch. Rod Kafer, this is just the perfect start for the visitors. So, uh, Rake outsiders at the start of the game, and people thought that they might not have enough petrol in the tank to go the full distance against the Wallabies, but so far, so good. Well, it's only 13 minutes, Clark. It's not quite the full distance yet, so plenty of time, but this is what we expect from the Samoans. Lots of short line outs. They'll play four and five man line outs and look to hit in the midfield and come back on the short side, that sort of stuff. The double round that time. Lisa just manages to hold on. Still inside their own territory. Otto Ali from the Crusaders. He stayed on in Australia after the Super Rugby final against the Reds last weekend. To the short side they go, and Thompson. He's tackled. Good recycling from Samoa, and now PC goes to the air. And Guido is back there and can't control it. Picked up by Samoa. And it's been knocked on by Samar unfortunately for them. Well, again, their whole game's based on pressure, whether it's in the tackle, whether it's at the breakdown, and now chasing kicks. And it's working against the Wallabies, who are looking a little bit rusty. Yeah, both the bombs that have been put up by PC have been absolutely spot on. Put a lot of pressure on. Makita not able to handle that one. And there was the knock on there. What time is that there? Got a man down in back play. Oh, we carry on. It's uh, play. Time on. Selala Mapasua, the vice play. captain, the inside centre. PC will be looking to um, kick those balls away. Matt Gitto's been defending at fullback a couple of times now. He's been in that sort of sweeping role. Just have a look as, as play develops and, and see if he's there permanently in defence. But. Um, I know that they will be looking to kick to the left-hand shoulder of uh, Mark Gerard. He's got such a wonderful long kicking game and accurate Gold. kicking game, Gerard. But the Samoans will know that to keep it away from him is imperative if they're going to be able to control field position. Listen up, you three, the last scrum. It was your ball. It worked. We expect the same now. Thank you. Yeah, it's cool. Oh, there's the mark. Can you take it up, please? Mark Gerard, his 24th test match. First time in Wallaby goals since Rugby World Cup 2007. Coach. A good season with the Rebels coming back Break from up. a stint in Japan. I want you straight up here. We control that. I want you straight up. Yeah, well, it's all right. 30, Robbie 30, Deans boys. didn't want Mark Gerard in 2008, so he took off overseas. Now he's back and he's wanted. Square piece. Yeah. Coach. Touch. Pause. Engage. 
No, it's not out. Phipps gives it to Matt Gitto. Now McCabe, double round, Gitto, wide they go. Gerard coming in from fullback and Rocket Rod Davies kicks in field. And uh, PC is there and he pops it up. It uh, goes loose, cleaned up at the back. Okay, cool. There might be a little issue here. Matt Gitto may have been hit late after he threw that pass. There's some talking between the ref and the assistant ref. Time off. Time off. Right, uh, Brownie, was that you? Yes, it was. So we had Keith Brown, the assistant on the far side, with the report coming up. 16 minutes gone. If you've just joined us, it is Manu Samoa, the rank outsiders, leading Australia 10 0. Penalty and a converted try. Right. Well, let me tell you what I've seen a, a late hit. Yes. Uh, on number 10 goal, I think it was. Yes. All right. Um, I'm going and went for a penalty only. Okay. All right, are you happy with 12 that? Blue. Number 12 Agreed. blue. Get me the mark, please. Thank you. Number 12 blue. I am indeed. Right, late hit. It's a timing issue. Late hit, get the timing right. Right, where's the mark, Brody? Back here, Maris. Yeah, it was touch and go. He was committed to that tackle. Yeah, that's right. His head was down. That's kept going and ploughing him. That's a terrible call from the referees. Yeah. Keith Brown's got that completely wrong. That's just in the time. He's already committed there. You don't pull out of that. If he throws the dummy, Gitto goes through. Now, Matt Basua, rightfully aggrieved by it. So, Gitto on the 10 metre mark. Was it in the touch? So, the Wallabies will look to work. A little bit of magic in the back line. Oh, nice, uh, nice big gap. Open up well, that was a lovely move. They just did play. Colmanani and, uh, and Rod Davies putting the chip ahead. Now's another chance. Dive pass from Phipps to Gitto, bringing Rod Davies in. Losing his footing there. Someone's applying good pressure at the breakdown, forcing so many of those Wallabies to go into assist there. So McKelman. Scrum half and he gives it to Nathan Sharp, head down, which is into the traffic. Took eight Wallaby forwards to win that previous breakdown, and they're struggling here. Playing advantage as Gitto looks to get something going out wide. Gerard stepping back on the inside, Mark Gerard inside the Samoan 22. Good opportunity for the Wallabies, but Tamani puts it down. He was playing advantage, though. Four blue Hudson in the side. Takes the tap. And he's taken by Stowers. Phipps to Sharp. Gets it out to Ghetto. And now Gerard Davies on debut. Can't control it, and he had Toalangi right on top of him. Lost forward. Didn't see it there, but he may have had a look at uh, Toalangi. We'll see it in his face now. It was the right move to play, but it was man on man, quite simply. Yeah, he was having a look because he knew that shoulder was going to hit him. <laughs> There's, there's just a little bit of rain coming down now as well, which has just made the ball that little bit slippery. And uh, Mark Gerard had a, it was a big little, uh, there was an opening just on the inside. If Mark Gerard had put it back inside, I think Pat McCabe was there trailing on the inside. The trial would have been scored with the outside. Rob Davies not particularly happy with that pass. Touch. Pause. In game. <laughs> Good scrum from the Samoans. Stop, stop six, stop six. Gets the kick away and puts it into touch. Leaves a little bit of pressure, but it'll be the Wallabies throwing into the line out on the 22. And just a few teething problems, a few timing issues that you always get in the first test match of the year from the Wallabies. Let him come down, Blue. Well, they've all been playing different styles, all the Wallabies coming from all the provinces. Trying to bring them together in one week, always going to be difficult. One over the back, and unfortunately for Bori Savalu, he lost that forward. This is the man that was a star in the 2003 Rugby World Cup for Samoa, then switched to league, played 164 games for St Helens, represented Great Britain in rugby league. 
and they're pretty happy to have him back in the 15-minute game. Time. Again, timing issue at the back. Alexander and Elson trying to lift Hodgson there. And he's the light bloke of the team, Hodgson. Again, it's a timing issue with the throw and the, the jump. Crouch! So 20 Touch. minutes gone in the first test of the international season, and the Wallabies still without a point. Ingy! Turn their back on having shots at penalties, though. Hey, ball. You've got to leave your hand. And oh, now, this is just a basic error from Matty Hodgson. You've got to leave your hand. Oh, no, you keep it up, mate. You're injured. See it in park football, yeah. you don't expect to see it at the international hand, level. I know it's pedantic. Uh, we're inside. And the referee yeah. saying, I know it's pedantic. Yeah. He's sticking to the ball. ball. Sorry. Yeah. Well, that's four penalties. Have been uh, 12 points left on the park so far by the Australians, electing to have a run. They're confident it's not happening for them. Crouch. Touch. Pause. In game. <laughs> Samoans in camp this week talking about gaining respect before they start their Rugby World Cup campaign. And they're getting plenty of respect in the first 20 minutes here. What is interesting is um, Digby Iwani from the left wing is defending in the front line in the back line. They push back Kiddo back to fullback, which is really a sign of things to come for the Wallabies as they contend with the issue of um, you know, where they defend with Craig Cooper. They're looking to obviously get Digby into the habit of defending in the front line. Kelman up towards halfway. Phipps goes digging. Gitto back on the inside to Pat McCabe. Defence is good from Samoa. Phipps, the other captain, Nelson. Only his second appearance. Still openly Rocky Nelson. Pips to Ghetto, and Stephen Moore, runs into his opposite number, Schwalger. Gee, they're off their defensive line quickly, the Samoans. Yeah, they're going to turn that ball over, going to the side. Time off. Where's the captain, please? All right. It's all, it's, it's all when you, good when you, make, make, you guys make the tackle, but you can't take up space on that side. There's been a couple now. I'll give you time to address it, no more. I'll give you time to address it, please. Wade Cooper of the stands. James O'Connor. Have you got the message through? Yesterday, true? after injuring his hamstring. Okay. Very popular at the Wallabies Fan Day. Earlier in the day here at uh, Homebush in Sydney. Right, you're coming from the side, you're falling through the ball. Well, there's a couple of you. I suggest the message goes out to everyone. Thank you. Samoans have obviously come into the game with a, with a plan to try to upset the Wallabies at the breakdown. It's been very successful so far. The Wallabies haven't been able to generate quick ball. Nick Phipps has been under pressure from the first ruck. Sounds like Marius Jonker wants to look after the Wallabies if you now. Cleaning it up. And Phipps gives it to Davies. Taken by Vanessa Savalu. Not a great pass, but the pickup was good from Pat McCabe in midfield. Inside the Samoa 22. Can the Wallabies finish something here? Stephen Moore over the advantage line. Pick and go from Nathan Sharp. Sharp in his 94th test match. Hands off, hands off. That's nothing, that's good. Well, there's a turnover. So great work, Samoa. And pretty poor by the Wallabies. Again, as they continue to struggle to find some continuity as Debiwani gets a chance to run it back, and the chase was pretty good. Oh, no one with him. Right on halfway. Oh, but then they had plenty of numbers there, the Samoans, but lost it forward. Yeah, the ball, you're on, mate. Well, the Wallabies went to pick and go just before that occurred, and it started to pay off a little bit for them, but then... Uh, then the turnover area, David Pocock running the uh, water today. Played in all of the Wallabies 15 tests last season, missing out on the first Injury. this year. No Schwalger down injured. Rocky Elsom also played in all 15 test matches for the Wallabies in 2010. 
could see Pocock back in action against the Springboks. The Springboks had a shaky start to their tour to Australia and New Zealand. A couple of hours into their flight from Johannesburg.